Competition is a giant part of the Twitch experience. It seems like every day there's an eSport event pulling in huge numbers. One day it's League with an insane mechanical play. It's a casual 1v3. This is insane. Yeah. Like, that oh, was a oh, oh. Are you kidding? Another day it's CSGO with some pro player fragging out of his mind in order to clutch a round. Here on Brawler, but Zyvi wants to kill. There's the headshot, pulls it back. There's oh. the up, and Zyvi's got the triple. But a few weeks ago, Twitch's biggest competitive spectacle wasn't between elite esports players fighting it out over some giant prize pool. No, it was between a boomer and a night owl with a consistently inconsistent schedule duking it out over a game overflowing with nostalgia. Moon Moon, Clint Stevens, and Tony Hawk, Pro Skater. Is Clint any good this game, chat? It's like I say that he was racing me or whatever. I assume he lost. We have beaten Moon to 20 million. I told you guys. Like, if you're my age in Twitch chat, you shouldn't have to ask what's currently happening on stream. Because you did it. Because you've done, you've been in this exact spot right here. For the last half decade, Clint Stevens has been a pillar for the Twitch night shift, regularly streaming into the early hours. First came his Ocarina of Time 100% speed runs, where he was crushed time and time again by Dampe. Basically, instead of getting blessed by the Dampe gods, we got a turd, okay, twice. Then there's the Super Mario 64 speed runs that ended in hilarious chokes. Oh my god! Oh, dude, that's not what you want to see. Or there's the non-speedrunning streams, where he gets to bond with his chat more while playing random games. Dig right, four diamonds. Oh my god. What a... Is there exactly four here? Oh my god, I got exactly four. How did he know? How the... Did he know? Clint streams have become must-see events, mainly because you have no idea when he's gonna stream next. But in September, he streamed a ton, focusing on racking up giant combos with a fake skateboard, thanks to another popular streamer, Moon Moon. Moon Moon is a pretty popular Twitch streamer, regularly pulling in 14,000 viewers while playing whatever game he wants. I keep fell over. <laughs> oh! Oh! And in early September, Moon Moon decided to take a bit of a nostalgia trip. See, around this time, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered dropped, and Moon Moon decided to jump back into one of his childhood favorites. For like several months, we'd all hang out at my brother's friend's house. We lived across the street, and we were all playing Tony Hawk 2 or 1. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was 1 and then 2. Now, make no mistake about it. People didn't know what to expect when this remaster was announced. Would it be like the clunky HD remaster that came out in 2012? Or worse, would it be like the absolute disaster that was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 that came out in 2015? But thankfully, we got the exact opposite. This version of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater finally feels right. It brings back memories that both Moon Moon and a lot of his viewers hadn't thought about in years. I did it! I did it! After reliving memories and playing the game for a few hours, Moon Moon jumped into one of the series' classic levels, Hangar. Oh wait, we're about to play the best level in any Tony Hawk game. Muscle memory quickly had him flying around the map and messing with tricks, and soon enough he realized that, with enough practice, he could pull off some sick combos. My potential has yet to be unleashed. So Moon Moon began his grind to hit a 4 million point combo, and the news quickly reached the ears of his friend Clint, who was also playing the game. What's the level that Moon Moon's trying to get maximum points on the hangar? What's his, uh, is he trying to do max combo? Or is he just trying to get, like, what's, what's his highest combo and what's his highest score? He's trying to get 4 million. But before Clint could beat him to it, Moon Moon hit his 4 million combo after hours and hours and hours of resets. Yeah. Yeah. But just because 
Moon Moon hit his 4 million combo score doesn't mean Clint lost. It just means that the goalpost moved back a little bit, and Clint now needed to beat Moon Moon's score, which he did after hours and hours of grinding. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, and I beat him too. That's what I'm talking about. Clint's 4.4 million point combo was a declaration of war. A war of attrition that saw the stubborn duo subject their viewers to nothing but hangar for days and days on end. And from the outside, it looked like Clint was the clear-cut winner. He was the speedrunner after all, used to no life in games all the time. But Moon Moon? Yeah, Moon Moon was ready for battle. Twenty one point four six something. We have beaten Moon to twenty million. I told you guys I would do it. For days, the two streamers traded scores, outdoing each other a little bit on every run. It was an intense back and forth that played out in real time. But on the seventh day of their battle, Moon Moon did something absolutely incredible. Almost triple Clint's 21 million on-stream high score, Moon Moon jumped out to a huge lead. A lead Clint had to deal with for a few days while he prepared to compete in the Fall Guys Twitch Rivals tournament while also dealing with a broken controller. Yeah, he literally broke his controller from playing too much Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I talked about it with Moon Moon. I broke my in the Xbox One controller because I have been squeezing it so hard that the internals must be warped and like the whole thing is just f***ing breaking. So two days came and went with Moon Moon looking more and more like the victor. But on the 10th day, Clint returned armed with a vengeance and a bunch of new controllers. And with those new controllers, Clint ascended to the skateboarding heavens. There we go. Just a half hour into his first stream back at it, Clint reclaimed the lead, but five hours later, he crushed that score. Eighty-two, dude! Let's go! Moon Moon gave it everything he had, but in the end, he gave up. Drunk and kinda done with no lifing a single level from a 20-year-old franchise for days on end. I concede. It's over. I got too much shit that I want to play on my stream. I it can't go on. And after he gave up, Moon Moon showed the world the glorious video he had planned if he had won. I had this whole gag prepared and everything, dude. Check this shit out. I was gonna, have, I was gonna drop a hundred million, dude. And I was gonna do this shit right here. Check this out. Oh my god, I left my Zoom open, dude. Holy shit, someone's calling me. Oh, hey, what's up, Clint? Uh, hey, man, I just want to say I'm really sorry to hear that you end up in second place after trying so hard. I know you're practicing and you thought you were going to have it, but maybe next time. Don't suck so much. I don't know. Subscribe to Moon Moon on Twitch and, and we'll see how you progress. All right, good luck. After 10 days, almost 40 hours of streaming and a broken controller, and Clint was declared the champion. Sure. He didn't win anything, and one of the game's devs already blew past both their scores days earlier. But Clint lives for these kind of competitions. It's in his speedrunning blood. You know, when I stream most of the time, I don't have a goal, and it's hard for me to get into it. It's like, well, why am I here? Why was I put onto this earth? And then when I play something like this, it's like, I can just ignore it for a while and just be like, it, I'm just trying to get a good score. That's my goal. I understand my purpose now. In fact, He's already started a new competition, this time in Minecraft. Yeah, how good are you at Minecraft speedrunning? Horrible. I haven't even made it to the fortress and I've been playing like four hours. Would you want to do a bet with <laughs> me and Simply on seeing who can get under an hour first? 
Uh, yeah, sure, I'll do that. And while watching two streamers fail at skateboard tricks for hours on end might be mind-numbingly repetitive, Clint and Moon Moon's Tony Hawk streams transported a lot of us boomers back to the early 2000s and allowed us to relive a part of our childhood. The question now is, who's gonna revive Neopets?